How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel on this website that we like to call www.imstillwearingthiswesternrise.t-shirt because it's super soft and amazing and I love it so much. .com slash youtube.edu and today, I put it up for the vote. Again, I mentioned in a previous video I was gonna start doing that a little bit more to get you guys a little bit more involved in what video comes out and when. And I recently got the new packed travel backpack, the packed collaboration with Chase Reeves. And you guys said that in a landslide, like I think only one person said no, said you wanted me to review it. So uh, that's what we're gonna, so we're gonna do today. Another thing real quick off the top is I have my 500 subscriber giveaway. I'll put a little card up here as well as a link down below to that video. Go watch that in the first like minute. I tell you how to enter and the rest is just me gushing about how happy I am that you guys support and appreciate my videos. So go check that out for a chance to win some cool prizes. Got a couple companies that are giving away some extra prizes as well as the ones that I've already got myself to give away. So go enter for a chance to win a couple new bags and accessories and maybe some clothing. So go check that out if you want a chance to win. Okay, so first thing about this packed travel bag that I will say is obviously um, due to the restrictions and not wanting to really travel. I did travel during this pandemic once, um, like a month ago for a wedding. Would not do that again. Only did that because it was my best friend and he was getting married, so felt like I kind of had to. But I'm not going on any trips right now. My job isn't letting me travel. I'm not taking any personal trips. So I didn't get to use this on a real trip. But what I did do was make up a mock travel scenario. I loaded this thing out like I was going on a real trip and then treated my bedroom like a real hotel room for a couple days just to kind of get that whole, this is how I would use the bag if I was in a hotel type of scenario. Obviously the airport side of things were lacking. I could have set up a mock airport security in my house, but I decided not to. But so I just want to keep that in mind that I have not actually physically gone on a real trip with this, but I do have some thoughts, some opinions, a little bit of negativity to say. I'm gonna, gonna go focus a little bit on the negatives as well because every bag is not perfect and you need to focus on the negatives to help you with your buying decision. And then I'm gonna gush about how much I love this thing because overall, I really love this thing. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing is Packed has a duffel bag. One of the only duffel bags that I actually enjoy using for travel and what they did is they took that duffel bag design, got with Chase Reeves, the man, the myth, the legend, the bag guru himself and collaborated to make this bag. It is very obvious that they went with the design of their duffel bag and transitioned it into backpack mode, which I think works in a lot of ways and falls short in just a couple, but really not any deal breakers. It's more of me being nitpicky than anything, but overall a very well-built and solid bag. The materials on this thing is a 900D R-PET on the outside with a 150D polyester coating on the inside. It's a very water resistant, water repellent. It feels like Kodura kind of material on the outside that has a very, very nice touch to it, as well as just being an overall comfortable bag. It's one of those bags that you enjoy when you touch. It's very well built in the construction. You've got wonderful grab handles at the top, bottom, and sides of this bag that are just super comfortable, nice little bit of foam. And then also you've got a little, little handle that you've seen on some other bags just in between the straps right there to just also grab and go if you need it. Also has wonderful load lifters to make this bag easily adjustable for comfort as well as some incredibly comfortable padding on these straps. Like I knew it would be comfortable but I was kind of honestly blown away with how comfortable it truly was and that's what you obviously want. You want a bag that's going to be comfortable and this one they did not waste any on the comfort. The same with this back panel, wonderful back panel with a great air channel, luggage pass-through back here, secret compartment up here that we're gonna get into, a TSA pocket we're gonna get into, whole nine yards. But I just wanted to mention the frame of this bag, which you actually have the ability to kind of like undo some Velcro up in here and see what the frame looks like. They really did a solid job at building this frame and keeping this bag at a wonderful 30 liter capacity, which is my favorite, 30 to 35, 28 to 35 is my favorite capacity. Not a huge fan of 40 liters anymore, still use them if I need to, but I really like the small, small backpack like this, like the Banal, like the Citadel R2, like the Air small travel pack that I did. 
I like that these can fit in the seat in front of you. That's what they say, and I believe them because it definitely is small enough. I like that it is easy. If you need to put it up top, it's not gonna take a lot of room, but I like that it's light, it's small, and it lets me take exactly what I need without allowing me to take very much more, and that's what this bag really does well, is that the ability to pack it out makes you really think about what you need, and I enjoy that. They do have custom packing cubes. Unfortunately, they are not gonna arrive for another couple months, uh, like three months to be exact. I don't wanna wait three months to review this bag because obviously a lot of people want to see it so maybe I'll do an updated th in like three months or four months if I actually get to use this on a trip because hopefully things will clear up in time for Thanksgiving and you go visit family maybe I'll use it on a Thanksgiving trip and we'll do like a little this is what I think in transit type video in the future okay so this bag on me I am 5'8 165 pounds and I enjoy the feel and the look and the fit of this bag on my back it is like I said comfortable with hip straps and it, it fits really well and doesn't look too big or bulky. Another thing to note is I have the hip straps removed because one thing that I like that Pact did, is for one, these are super easy to put in. And I've said before, I'm not a big fan of hip straps because I typically don't need them. Now, especially more than ever, that I'm staying towards the lighter, smaller side of bags, which is another thing, this bag is four and a half pounds in weight with the hip strap on, and it's like 4.2 pounds with the hip strap off yes i said that right and uh the light i like light bags you will obviously you know the lighter the bag the easier it is to carry so for me hip straps are not something i typically want to use even on like 40 liter bags I, I just they're not something i enjoy because they're flappy and dappy but this however is one of those rare exceptions that i find myself really enjoying because not only when it's in the bag, is it easy to fold away and kind of keep out of the way so it's not too much in the way, but this also doubles as a sling. A sling that you can wear on your hip that fits your phone and wallet and you can even throw your keys. It is a great travel companion that way, but you can also sling it over your shoulder and wear it as a small minimal sling, which makes it a great travel companion, which is why I love the fact that they did this. Like, People make hip straps with like compartments on the side and stuff all the time, right? But nobody that I've seen, and if you know any, let me know, I'd be curious, has made a hip strap that can double as a sling. I don't personally own any and I haven't seen any, but I love that ability because one of the things that I, I like to do is to bring either a small sling or a small packable bag, which I have in here, and then when I get where I'm going, I can ditch the big bulky bag and take just the bare necessities. And my Canon PowerShot G7 Mark III, which I'm currently recording on, which the focusing, man, is just all over the place. It's really difficult to nail the focusing on this camera. I love it, but it's not really meant for this kind of thing, but I really like the way it shoots, so I'm very torn. Hopefully the focusing isn't too bad in this video, but it fits in here because it's a small, compact point-and-shoot camera. My phone fits in here and my wallet fits in here. So thank you, Pact, for this wonderful like addition that I didn't even know when I got, because I honestly, I went to Indiegogo as soon as they launched it, clicked buy, didn't look at anything, didn't really watch anything, watched bits and pieces of Chase's, Chase Reeves's, Reeves's review on it because obviously, you know, I'm gonna watch his video. And I watched a little bit of uh, Bo is Mono's as well, his quick look, which I suggest checking out both those videos as well. And I didn't even realize, I didn't get to this point in the video. So this was a huge shock and a surprise to me, and it's a great addition. Honestly, when I do my sling comparison video, as soon as I get a couple more, I'll probably throw this in there just as a, as like a little bonus, because I think Pax should sell this as a regular sling too. Um, I think it'd be awesome if they did. Okay, another thing you have is latch points all over this bag. You've got them on the sides and then they go across to the front. You got a little latch strap that you can easily connect with a quick disconnect and you have the ability to go on either side of the bag and across the front if you wanted to put like a sweater, a yoga mat, a sleeping bag, a tripod. You have the ability to put and connect those anywhere you want on the outside of the bag. Not something I typically do, which is why in the back here, and it's kind of one of those compartments that's a little difficult to get to, which is the point of this one. It's a very secretive compartment back here. This is a cool little secret compartment. A lot of bags have been doing this. You'll see like a passport compartment on the back of the bag or like on the side or something like that. And it's a great addition, but for me, this one's a little bit too much out of the way and a little bit too difficult to get to. And there's nothing I care 
that much about that wouldn't either be in my pocket or I wouldn't trust in a different compartment on this bag. But I like that addition to keep maybe storing some stuff out of the way, like lash straps. That's a good addition. I like that little secret compartment, just a little too difficult to get to for me. I think that pretty much covers most of the other little small things. Uh, well, oh, one more point is you have the ability down here for all you cyclists to connect a bike light in case you want to take this bike, take this bag on a bike ride. Um, I like it when bags do. I'm not a cyclist. I should be. I should get into it. I live in a city where a lot of people ride bikes, um, but I don't. I should, but I don't. But I think that pretty much is going to take care of the outside connection points and things like that. With all of that being said, let's move into the compartments of this bag. Starting with the water bottle. It's a nice off the bag kind of elevated up a little bit, stretchy with some mesh water bottle pocket. It fits my exactly life water bottles at 32 ounce. It'll also fit things like the Camelback chute or like a hydro flask. And it does have a little hole down at the bottom in case anything leaks, it'll drain out. And because of this coating and the material, you don't have to really worry about your bag staying like wet or staining or anything like that. I mean, unless you're carrying around grape juice, in which that case your bag might stain, but I would not suggest grape juice in transit for that reason. But great little water bottle pocket, if I'm being honest. I really quite enjoy, like I said, it's got some stretch, but also it kind of does stay a little bit off the side. And it kind of does stay in a little bit. It's not too much in the way. Not like water bottle pockets really are, but I like that Pax really went with a good idea for this, covered it in fabric instead of just doing like a little mesh compartment or like the zip away ones. Like I feel like this was a good choice and it really fits with this bag. Okay, so that leaves us into the pockets. So the first one I wanna talk about is this one down here. So you've got two pockets on the front. One is in the lower half of the bag and it is just a nice little pocket with a little bit of dimension covered with a rain fly uh, zipper guard thing. And it is a good, pocket. I don't have anything in here right now because this is my security dump pocket. Something that I've been kind of doing a lot on a lot of bags lately is I like to keep one pocket on the outside that is designated to dump my items for security. I've got it down where the only thing I have to take out of my bag is my, my laptop and the only thing I'm taking off my person is my shoes because my belt doesn't have any metal on it. Check out arcade belts. I'll link them below. They were in my travel clothing video. Wonderful belt, fully adjustable, no metal on it. Really, really solid, love that a lot. But this is where, before I've been standing in security, you know, after I get through all the lines and I know I'm all coming up on the metal detector or the little beep beep thing. I don't know what that thing's called, but you know, like when you put your hands like this and you're like, <laughs> but I prefer to put all of my personal items phone, wallet, you know, maybe my keys, depending on where I'm going, my boarding passes, and I just put them in a pocket that I can kind of just zip away, and then I can throw this thing on the security tray, and I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about getting an extra small tray. As soon as my bag and my shoes come through with the laptop, boom, putting them back in, putting my shoes back on, grabbing the bag, and then in while I'm moving to my gate, I'll get this stuff back out. So it's a really cool little thing, or what I might do is I might have the sling on my uh, waist and I would put these in the sling and then just take the sling off and boom, bada bing, bada boom, bing pot. You know what I mean, Jake Peralta? But if you are into like pouches or anything like that, you definitely could because of the dimension that's built into this pocket fit any kind of tech pouch or anything like that that you might want to in this pocket. Next up on the docket in this pocket, docket pockets is this top one right here, which is their small admin pouch. Now what I've done is I've thrown my Sennheiser PX 550s in here and then you can see you've got a little bit of a mesh guy with a zipper and then the piece behind it. So basically with this pocket where I keep my headphones because it's an easy to get into and they're right there on the top and I like that accessibility. Then behind that I've got a little, in the little zippered guy I've got a little portable charger and then you've got a little bit of space behind that and then you've also got a little key clip in here as well. So this is their take on an admin pouch. Now, one of the reasons I do quite enjoy this pocket is because a lot of admin pouches I've seen, like on the Tortuga or on the Air packs, is that 
it'll it'll zip down like halfway, right? Like halfway down the bag. You can peel it back and you can see all the organization bits, but then there's still this bottom half, right? Like this whole thing would be one big pocket. And for me, if I throw something in there and it goes all the way down to the bottom, I don't want to be like reaching all the way down to grab it. So I like that they did kind of just like a half half pocket here. It, it works because if I do drop anything down in here, I'm not going very far to grab it. And there's not a whole lot of organization here, which I also like, because then that gives you the ability to use pouches if you want to. So a great little admin pouch right here that I think truly does a really good job of keeping your things organized on the front half and up towards the top of this bag. Okay, so then you have this top pouch here. Right, and this is where I keep my toiletry kit. And this material in here is a water resistant, water repellent, like a, it's like their waterproof pocket that they designed for this. So in case you have anything that's wet or damp or might leak, this is the pocket you can throw it in and I'll have to worry about it. For me personally, this is a good pocket that I think works really well if you were gonna get a dop kit and you're worried about anything leaking or exploding or, or coming out while you're in transit or maybe you're using this bag and you know, you, the night before you leave, you get caught in a monsoon. Maybe your jacket gets soaked. This is a good pocket to throw that jacket in. It's almost like a shoe pouch, which you actually, honestly, now that I think about it, my swabs, for instance, I could put them in like a shoe bag and easily put them in this pocket right here. So just a nice little top pocket that can be easily used for any kind of water resistance, but also it does work as if you wanted to use it to throw your pair of headphones or to throw another pouch in or to put any kind of loose items in. It's not deep enough that it's really going to make a, a huge difference, but you could easily use this for whatever you wanted. For me personally, I think it's a great addition to put my dop kit in in case I need anything and then or if I was gonna bring a pair of packable shoes with me, this is the pocket that I would absolutely put those in. So another great addition, another great pocket, and this is the thing about this whole bag, right, is that because it was created by somebody like Chase and like Malcolm over at Pact, is you can tell that they put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into the pockets on the outside of this bag. The dimensions, the length, the depth, the organization, they all, they can, you can tell us by people that use bags, that like bags, that enjoy having bags that have easy accessibility. And it is very, very obvious and I love that. Okay, so before I forget, because I probably will, this back zipper here, right? All this zipper does is get you into the uh, other main compartment, which we're gonna talk about both those main compartments as we open this bag up clamshell, which it opens the exact same way that their duffel bag did, where it folds out in front of you like so. And then on one side you have a mesh, and on the other side you have what I like to call their puffy material, and uh, it's split down the middle with the laptop in the middle, suspended off the bottom of the bag, padded on both sides, and then you have the ability to organize either side of the bag however you want. For me personally, the way I like to do this is this side is my clothes and this side is any extra stuff I might be bringing with me. So in this case, I have clothes on this side and like a packable bag on this side from when I get to where I'm going. So if you uh, unzip this little mesh guy, right, you'll see I have a peak design field pouch and then my uh, peak design packing cube, which just fits all of my clothes in it. Um, this is the water pocket right here with a little zipper on it for any extra small items you might have, but this does a little bit eat up the dimension because it doesn't like just fold away. It is like a, it's like a secured pocket. This is that waterproof pocket I was telling you about. This does eat up a little bit of dimension in the main compartment, but I don't mind that because if that's where my dop kit is going, as you can see a full large packing cube and this is my little tech pouch can still fit on this side with no problem. I can even fit the small peak design uh, packing cube and have two packing cubes here if I wanted to and still have room to put like my dop kit right there if I wasn't bringing a tech kit with me, which is awesome. So this little mesh divider guy keeps the two sides of the bag very well hidden and like organized. And then also on this, you have like another little pocket you could throw like undies or, or something like that in if you wanted to. Okay, then on this side of the bag, right, it unzips the same way and this is literally carbon copy. 
exact copy of how their duffel bag is set up. It has the exact same double-sided thing. On this side, all I've done is thrown my Wandered Veer packable backpack because when I get to where I'm going, I typically like to have a smaller bag, whether it be a sling or another day bag. This is still a little too big for me to carry around as like a daily carry when I get where I'm going. So that's the plus size, that you have two sides to organize if you wanna bring more clothes, if you wanna bring more gear, you have it nicely organized. And this side right here is the side that that extra zipper in the back here goes into so if you did want to put your jacket on top up there or anything that you might want quick access to but you want inside the bag you have the ability to get in there my only issue with this bag really comes in to the form of the laptop compartment so this laptop compartment is right here in the middle and it, it fits the computer nicely and like i said it's off the bottom of the bag and it's smushed between these two sides so it's very well protected and this is what they did in the duffel bag it was in the middle of the duffel bag and it was off the bottom of the bag and it's that's where you would put it in a duffel bag because you don't really have a spot for a laptop compartment in a bag like that but with this i don't know it just seems like maybe not the best place to put it i know that this is like their signature thing but to me i kept reaching into this back compartment when i was trying to get my laptop out whenever i was bored and sitting around it just that was the compartment that i went towards because it feels like that is where the laptop should be and like i said this is more of a nitpick than an issue with the bag itself because ultimately it's still easy to get into this compartment because you can zip you zip this bag up right and if you leave that laptop compartment unzipped you have you can just unzip this this right here and and get in there right it's not an issue but that's that's just my kind of little nitpick and i would like it just a little bit more if it was on the back of the bag up against my back instead of in the middle but that's just me now the last pocket we have comes in the form of their tsa pocket now they had this as well on their duffel it's a little pocket that you can unzip and you pull this little baggie out it has a red strip on it and that is where they have created their security dump pocket that i mentioned that i like to use they have created one specifically for this bag However, comma, to me, this isn't really a place that I'd want to put anything because yes, you can pull it out and then put your bag down like this and then pull everything out of there. But to me, pulling things out of here and then having to then kind of, you know, tuck this back in a way and then re-zip it and then put the bag back on as opposed to just using this front compartment. I like this front compartment a lot more. It worked really well in the duffel bag for sure because there wasn't a lot of things. I was really hoping for a magnet pouch somewhere on here like they had in their duffel bag because on the side of the duffel it had that little magnet slide pouch thing and I really really liked that and I was hoping for some variation on that on this but I understand that a backpack is going to be a little different. But ultimately that is it for the entirety of the Pact One Chase Reeves collaboration backpack. Overall, I really like it. I cannot wait to actually use it in transit. Like I said, once I get the packing cubes and I go on a trip down the way, I definitely will make sure to use it again, do like an update on it in a few months when it's actually used in legitimate travel. But just using it around the house and use, doing it as like a mock trip, this is a very solid travel bag. It's a good size, it's good comfort, it has great materials, and it was designed very, very thoughtfully. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this bag, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Email me, odiematthewsbags at gmail.com, full spelling in the description of this video. If you wanna have a chat, you want lists, you want suggestions, you want more information, more videos, more pictures, anything like that, shoot me an email. I'll make that happen for you. Uh, if you could, please leave this video a like. Subscribe if you want more nonsense. Don't forget about the giveaway, like I said. Uh, thank you again for all the love and support that you give me on this channel. It means the world to me. Uh, let me know what you think of the packed bag. If you got one, or if you're getting one, if you're thinking about it. Let's, you know, I want to know. But overall, I give it a very good bag. Don't have a rating system, but I like it. It's good. So with all of that being said, I will see you guys next time.